and welcome to SL Productions and my Doctor Who book collection for 2019. Now, I have not done a Doctor Who book collection since the beginning of 2017. My collection has grown since then and I will be going through each and every book in my Doctor Who collection. So yes, we'll be starting with the Target novelizations, and we do have The Edge of Destruction, Doctor Who and the Keys of Marinus, Doctor Who and the Zabi, which is the Web Planet, Doctor Who and the Crusaders, Doctor Who the Space Museum, The Massacre, Doctor Who and the Tenth Planet, The Highlanders, The Underwater Menace, Doctor Who and the Zyron Men, which I think is the Moon Base, I'm not sure. Doctor Who and the Tomb of the Zyron Men, Doctor Who and the Web of Fear, the Dominators, Doctor Who and the War Games, Doctor Who and the Auton Invasion, which is Spearhead from Space, Doctor Who and the Terror of the Autons, Doctor Who and the Daemons, Doctor Who who in the Curse of Peladon, Doctor Who and the Sea Devils, Doctor Who the Mutants, the Time Monster, the Three Doctors, the Carnival of Monsters, Planet of the Daleks, Doctor Who and the Green Death, Doctor Who and the Time Warrior, Doctor Who and the Invasion of the Dinosaurs, or Doctor Who and the Dinosaur Invasion. I love that clack there. Death to the Daleks. The Monster of Peladon. Doctor Who and the Loch Ness Monster, which is Invasion of the Zygons, is it? Doctor Who and the Hand of Fear. Doctor Who and the Horns of Nymar. And ending the shell, we do have Legopolis, the final fourth Doctor story. So yes, moving on. So yeah, moving on, we do have Castrovalva, a 5th Doctor Target novelisation. Earthshock, don't really like the cover on this one. And finally, we do have Doctor Who, the Terrestrial Index, my final Target book. Moving on to past Doctor Adventures, we've got two of them. We've got Millennium Shock by Justin Richards and Theatre of War, which is actually a new Doctor adventure. Then we are on to new Doctor Who books. We do have The Clockwise Men, or The Clockwise Man. The Monsters Inside. Winner Takes All. The Deviant Strain. Only Human. The Stealers of Dreams. The Stone Rose. The Feast of the Drowned. The Resurrection Casket. The Nightmare of Black Island. Price of Paradise, Sting of the Zygons, and Peacemaker. And here we do have an eighth Doctor novel, which is Earthworld, a reprint from 2015. 13, sorry. So, yes, moving on. So, moving on, we do have The Many Hands, Wet World, The Last Dodo, The Pirate Loop, which I actually bought for 10p. Autonomy, now moving on to the 11th Doctor novels, we do have Apollo 23, The Forgotten Army, Nuclear Time, The, King, the King's Dragon, Dead of Winter, The Way Through the Woods, Hunter's Moon, Borrowed Time, and then here we do have Death Riders, which I got free in the Doctor Who Adventures magazine. Then over here we do have some quick reads and a collection of short stories. We do have the Heroes and Monsters collection. I am a Dalek. Code of the Krillitanes. Made of Steel. The Sontaran Games. Magic of the Angels and the Silorian Gift, which I actually bought for 99p. That's not from a charity shop, that's why I actually bought it for in WH Smith. So yes, moving on to the next shelf. So yes, we'll begin with some Decide Your Destiny books. We do have The Spaceship Graveyard, Alien Arena, The Time Crocodile, 
the Corinthian project, the crystal snare, the haunted wagon train, lost luggage, second skin, claws of the Matra, awesome, I've read this about 10 times when I was like 8 years old, it was awesome. And then on to Sarah Jane Adventures novelizations, we do have Invasion of the Bane, pretty battered. Revenge of the Slovene. Eye of the Gorgon. Warriors of Kudlak. Whatever Happened to Sarah Jane. The Lost Boy. And The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith. I did have The Day of the Clown and The Last Sontaran, however they were so battered I just got rid of them so yes moving on we do have doctor who big bang regeneration by gary russell royal blood and deep time these are all books from the glamour chronicles now moving on to torchwood books we do have another life almost perfect and the border princes also, we do have the other Torchwood books, Risk Assessment, Sky Point, Bay of the Dead, and Into the Silence. So yes, moving on. So yes, moving on to the miscellaneous section, we do have the Scientific Secrets of Doctor Who, the Doctor Who official quiz book, and the Doctor Who Guide to 365 Days of the Year. I think that's the correct title, I don't really know. Then we do have the Doctor 12th book by Roger Hargreaves, and then we do have all 15 of the Time Lord fairy tales. There's loads of them, nice little books. And yes, moving on to the bottom shelf, we do have books from the Dark Smith Legacy Collection, which are The Dust of Ages, The Graves of Morden, the Colours of Darkness, The Deep, no, The Depths of Despair, The Vampire of Paris, The Game of Death, and then here we do have Doctor Who the Quiz Book 1 and Doctor Who the Quiz Book 3. Sorry, that's the Doctor Who Quiz Book 2. I don't know why I have, I don't know why I don't have one. I just found two and three in a charity shop and I didn't find number one there. I guess someone already found it. And then we do have Wit, Wisdom and Timey Wimey stuff, the quotable Doctor Who, some good little Doctor Who quotes in here. And then we do have some Doctor Who fact file books. We do have the TARDIS, Zyberman, Daleks, K9, the Doctor. And then down here we do have Doctor Who, the big book of lists. It's unofficial. The Whoology Regeneration Edition. And we do have the Whoology original edition somewhere else, but I haven't been able to find it for this Doctor Who collection. Then moving on, we do have the Complete History Book, Volume 55, and we do have the Doctor Who Complete History Book, Volume 17. Then we do have Doctor Who Time Lord Letters, followed by Doctor Who The Hooniverse, Followed by Dalek, the astounding untold history of the greatest enemies in the universe. Then we do have the visual dictionary updated and expanded. And then we do have Doctor Who Impossible Worlds. And yeah, over here, all the books, all my Doctor Who books, I've had to replace them every time I've used this shelf as it's more convenient to film. So yeah, that's basically my dump of Doctor Who books for now. So yes, moving on. And finally, we do have Doctor Who the Storybook 2008, Doctor Who the Storybook 2009, Doctor Who the Annual 2019, we do have 2018, 2017, 2016, 15, 14, aka the 50th anniversary annual, 2013 and 2012, along with 2006 and 2008 on the bottom. Then we do have Doctor Who Time Lord in Training. It's basically this press out model thing. It's pretty, I've not actually used this book, but yeah, you can press little things out and make your own Doctor Who props in it. So yeah, that's nice. Then we do have the 11th Doctor Matt Smith, basically a guide to Matt Smith as the Doctor when he was introduced. Then we do have Doctor Who the Annual 1981, 
and Doctor Who the Annual 1979. There's a few missing pages from these annuals and they have been filled in on a few pages, but the annuals are pretty cool anyway. Then on the final collection of non-fiction Doctor Who books, we do have the Doctrinary, the Dangerous Book of Monsters, the Companion's Companion, the Vault, a History of the Universe in 100 Objects, Doctor Who the Official Cookbook, the Hooniversal Book of Records, The Secret Life of Monsters, Who Graphica, Character Encyclopedia, and The Essential Guide for 50 Years of Doctor Who. So yes, that is it, my Doctor Who book collection for 2019. Goodbye.